Hi everyone, I'm Kim at Shiplap and Shells. I'm a cut flower gardener in the Pacific Northwest, about 60 miles southwest of Seattle in gardening zone 8B. And today I'm going to take you around, show you what's going on in my garden. Um, we just had our last frost date of the season, so there's a lot to show you. But first, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So anytime that Kellogg has a great video to show you about your garden, you'll be notified. April isn't always like this. So we had a couple days that were absolutely amazing. So I thought I'd just uh, give you a little tour on the deck. We planted our containers. I used the geraniums that I overwintered um, in the greenhouse. I still have some annuals to add to them, but this is a great start. Still have my daffodils. A lot of people have been asking me, do I drill holes at the bottom of my galvanized pots? And yes, absolutely, because you need drainage. The lavender and candy tuft is blooming. And this is where I have some of my herbs in pots. I have some more violas. Primroses and violas are looking amazing right now. Daffodils are starting to die off a little bit, some of them. And then I have other varieties that are just starting to bloom. My hydrangeas are starting to really take shape here. Here are a few more of them. This one we just transplanted not too long ago because it was um, in the afternoon sun and it did not like that at all. Tulips are a little hit and miss for me. Some of them can come up for years and still look just as good, and other ones really don't look as good the second year, so I kind of consider them an annual. Here are some tulips that remind me of peonies, actually, and I planted those a few years ago as well. They're just gorgeous. There's some more. And then... We have more tulips coming up here. So I decided to test um, some tulips in the raised beds this spring, and I'm really glad I did. They look so bright and beautiful when you look at the rest of um, the raised beds and not so much. So. I am definitely going to do this in all my raised beds for next year and do different colors. Um, I have been spraying them with liquid fence so the deer don't get them, but they are so beautiful. And I did this because I always feel really guilty about um, cutting them and bringing them into the house and because they look so beautiful in the garden. So I thought, well, if I put them in the raised beds, basically a cutting flower garden so um, I went ahead and did it and I'm really happy I did so it's dahlia splitting day so along the picket fence here we dug them all out to move the mulch over and then put them on the tarp and now I'm going to be splitting them and then putting them back in and figuring out where I'm going to put the rest of the tubers. Then we'll start over there in the front. And here's Lucy in the midst of it all. Because this is the sunniest place in the yard for her right now. But I've done some splitting and now we're moving on. I'm going to give you a little tour of the greenhouse. What's going on these days. So it's pretty full as you can see. I have all my seed starts on this side and then some of my seed starts and geraniums on this side and some flies and bees. <laughs> so everything has been 
sown already. These were also all planted about seven or eight days ago, and it's just amazing. Um, I guess that's why they say that the cosmos and zinnias can be four to six weeks before the last frost because they came up so quickly. I think they were germinating after the second day. So these are um, different varieties of cosmos and zinnias. And then these are a little bit of both and they're doing great. My sweet peas um, are going to be pinched. I'm going to pinch those today. My geraniums that overwintered in the greenhouse are doing absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to start probably hardening those uh, next week. The temperatures are going to be in the 60s. So I'm going to start working on those. All right, so I've already pinched some of my sweet peas. As you can see, these are pinched. But I have to do this little batch right here. And the reason why we pinch sweet peas is because we want the plant to focus more on the stems that were removed um, rather than the height, how tall um, the plant's going to be. And so that will make everything look fuller and um, bushier and it's just going to be better in the long run. So it might be really hard to watch because you've gotten to the point where you're so excited. Look at all the growth and you're going to transplant it outside, but in the long run, it's going to be better. I also do my zinnias and cosmos and dahlias and it's just, that's kind of what I do. So I take kind of a mess here. I will take the third or the fourth set of leaves. So this is the third set. This is the fourth. You know, I might go the fourth set. And I'm clipping off just above the node. And there you go. That's it. It is so easy. They call it pinching. Um, it's really basically pruning, but a lot of times, um, I think this one I'm going to take down a little bit. Uh, a lot of people do it with their, they pinch it with their thumb. So I would do this one right here so you can pinch it as well. I like to just kind of use my clippers and get it a little cleaner. So that's it. That's, uh, it's pretty easy. Um, I should have done it earlier. I procrastinated, but in the long run, it's going, they're going to be so much better off. And here they are. So they're all pinched and ready to go. And I'll probably be transplanting them out in another week. Okay, so I am cleaning up around the greenhouse and here's a perfect example of what I am doing right now, this time of year. I want my geraniums to look nice and full um, for the window boxes and the containers. And this one is just not cutting it. See how um, leggy it's getting here 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 and here but there's so much growth down below so I am going to cut it and clean it up and um, like for instance I'm gonna take it above the node here 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 and here and then it has a chance to get really bushy down below and then these I'm gonna clean them up and I'm gonna make um, starts out of them so here's what it looks like. I took them all down and now I have all of these that I can make cuttings out of. So I'd love to hear what you're doing in your garden this month. Or if you have any questions about anything that I talked about today, make sure you leave a comment for us. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell.